Yo, what's going on guys? It is Kobe back again with another Black Ops 2 tips and tricks video. And in today's video, it's actually going to be part 4 of my series where I give you some tips to improve your aim, accuracy, and gun skill so that in return you win more gunfights. If you missed my past 3 parts, you can click the annotations on screen or the links in the description. It'll open up in a new tab for you. And I do highly recommend that you not only watch every part, but watch the parts in order because I do refer back to past videos. So go check those out if you haven't already. Now in today's video, we're going to be covering hip firing and when it's ideal and most effective to hip fire, some things that affect your hip fire ability, and lastly, I'll cover the laser sight attachment as it directly correlates with hip firing. So I hope you guys enjoy the video, and if you do, please remember to smack that like button, it really helps me out a ton, and let's get right into this. So in past Call of Duties, hip firing is something that you would do at a distance somewhere in between your knife range and your ideal aiming down sights range, but if you played Black Ops 2 already, you would know that the knife is really inconsistent and just utterly terrible, so because of this, hip fire has become a much bigger factor. Now other than obviously the weapon you are using, other factors affect your hip fire accuracy and whether you should hip fire at all. Sensitivity and draw time are definitely the two biggest ones. The main reasons for hip firing is so you can turn towards the enemy faster as well as begin shooting faster. For me I play on 4 or 5 sensitivity, so if I tried to aim in and turn 90 degrees to shoot an enemy right next to me, it would just take way too long and I'd probably get killed every time. However, let's say you're on an 8 or 9 sensitivity, if you have fairly decent accuracy, it wouldn't be all that hard for you to aim down sights and turn towards the enemy player even if he was right next to you. And attachments like quick draw and stock also help out a ton when gunning down enemies at very close ranges. So if that didn't confuse the crap out of you, what I'm basically saying is that you don't necessarily need to hit fire when you're at close ranges. There are situations where it's actually better to not hit fire, but instead aim down your sights. However, because this video is about hit firing, let's just focus on that. So just a couple general tips when hip firing, you want as much of the opponent's body as possible in between those four dash marks that make up your hip fire box. A lot of people tend to aim higher towards the chest and head area as if you're just normally ADSing, but when firing from the hip, bullets can land anywhere in that little box, so you want as much of that box on the enemy target as you possibly can. Another quick tip is body positioning. There's a noticeable difference of accuracy when you go from standing to crouching to prone. Even if you can't fully drop shot, simply crouching will tighten up that hit fire box. And if you just watch any gameplay on YouTube, you do often see people crouch shotting. But honestly, it is really hard to give tips on something so general like hip firing. It's really important factor when you talk about winning more gunfights, but it's still something that you just pick up from playing, being able to recognize when it's best to hip fire and when it's best to go ahead and aim down sights. So lastly, I quickly want to go over the laser sight attachment and how the effects change from weapon to weapon. I thought it'd be best to throw it into this video rather than wasting time making another one. So surprisingly, the LMGs are actually affected the most when having laser sight attached. Its hip fire box is decreased by nearly 45%. So it's nearly half the size as normal, and it's actually pretty fun just running around hip firing with the LMGs. If you ever get bored or just want to try something different just for fun, I definitely recommend it. And when you're going prone, your hitbox actually becomes really, really tight, and you can actually pick people off from pretty far away. It's actually pretty insane. But anyways, pistols, shotguns, and assault rifles receive similar benefits from having the laser sight equipped. Their boxes are reduced to about two-thirds its normal size, which is still a fairly large difference. I don't ever use it on the assault rifles personally. I prefer quick draw on stock, but for the pistols and shotguns, it is definitely pretty effective. The SMGs are actually affected the least amount, even less than the snipers, having its hitbox only reduced by about 20%. But when you're figuring out what weapons you might want to attach the laser sight to, you need to think about what weapons you're most likely to even need to hit fire with. So even though that the SMGs might get kind of the short end when it comes to actual effects of the attachment, it's still probably one of the best choices if you do choose to use a laser sight because you're always in close quarter battles with SMGs. But overall, in my opinion, I pretty much only use a laser sight on shotguns. You typically hip fire the most when using shotguns compared to any other weapon class, so you definitely get the most use out of the laser sight when you use it on a shotgun. But what do you guys think, or more importantly, what do you guys use the laser sight on if you use it at all? I'd love to hear your guys' stance on using this attachment. But there you go, guys, hip firing and the laser sight attachment. Hip firing is kind of a weird thing to make a video on, but nonetheless, I told you guys I'm going to be covering everything and anything that has to do with improving your aim, so I didn't want to leave any topics out. So hope you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless. If you did, be sure to smack that like button. If we can get this to 300 likes again, I'll begin working on another video, and so far we have hit it every single time, so I want to thank you guys for that. Also, a big chunk of you guys gave me the thumbs up on starting a best class series where I share my preferred setups with various weapons, so I'll definitely start working on that as well. And if you want any particular gun in the first episode of that series, leave it down below so far i've seen suggestions like the m27 the smr the chickum the foul so just leave your suggestions down below and be sure to thumbs up any you like if i see a couple with like a lot of thumbs up votes those will definitely be the ones that i cover first so again leave your suggestions down below but anyways guys that's it for the video again 300 likes and i'll pump out another check out the videos on screen if you missed them especially my last one where i cover what i think is the most underrated gun in the game so check those out if you want and i'll see you guys next time peace